Hey everyone, it's the Boshan. Welcome back to another Summoner's Home video. Today, we'll be playing with Abigail, the Water Cannon Girl. Thank you so much for lending me this account. Shout out to Goingham for days. Appreciate it. I told him to 6-star this unit and put his best despair will speed crit damage attack on this girl. And this is what we have. A little bit low in accuracy, but I think it's gonna be okay. 22% it's better than nothing. Skill set, strip and decrease attack bar AoE. The decrease attack bar happened after the strip, so the unit that was stripped will also get the attack bar decrease. For many stripper in Dragon Speed 10, you really want them to strip when there's immunity, but for Abigail, she can spam this skill and still get the most out of it because when you reduce attack bar of the tower, it can buff immunity and you don't have to strip. So, please land. I'm trying to make a point here. So you get a tap reduction on the tower 50%. That's a lot for a slow tower. And after this, it's really, really easy. She also brings secondary defense break if Galleon fails to defense break back to back to back. Because you know Galleon will fail to defense break the boss very often. So for speed DB10 option, I think she's really, really solid. For Giant Speed 10, same thing. If you start the fight with a tap reduction on the tower, the game becomes so much easier. No defense break, no attack buff. The boss is not that strong anymore. Come on, pop the shield. She popped the shield immediately. Look at that, so fast. And the skill animation is so quick. That's very important, skill animation. Without even talking PvP, in my opinion, she's already a solid choice for dungeon run. So for example, if you're cleaving with Abigail, the attack by reduction is really really good to assure your next damage dealer will take a turn. And also for enemy healers, cleansers, whatever they want on double damage as well, will not move in between if you land the attack by reduction. So for example, I really want to kill this Wu I'm going to try and double hit him. Maybe I'm going to kill him, maybe I'm not. But I'm going to make sure that, oh my god, I didn't get attack by reduction on Wu I get on the rest of them, but I didn't get on Wusa. But you, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Can never get anything right when I want to test some unit and demonstrate for the people how good she can be. Oh baby, that Theo know what's up. Alright, let's make my point clear again. For example, that Praha may be on double Nemesis will, and if I do decent damage to her, she will move in between, and that is not favorable. So I'm going to try to... Go for the damage on Praha, get attack for reduction going. We get a stun, despair stun, really, really good. But we get the attack for reduction going, and my slow Alicia can take a turn and cleave the entire enemy team pretty, pretty easily. So, for an AoE damage dealer, she brings great utility. She also has backup armor break if you ever need one to make sure that she can one shot a Perna easily. <laughs> So, using her in a cleave PvP situation, for example, guild battle or arena, it's really, really good. This one I'm not too sure, but there's no immunity on the enemy team. We may start off with wild shot for the armor break setup. We get a nice little stun on Perna, beautiful. Oh my god, I'm scared, I'm scared. Ooh, okay, okay, ooh, that hurts. Should we kill Perna? We have to kill Perna twice anyway, right? So we're gonna kill Perna first life, nice. We're gonna follow up with... How do I use this guy properly? I'm gonna put... Soul Protection on Perna. Defense buff. Pretty nice, got a nice provoke as well. I'm gonna put... This is actually two hit, so... Whoever you target, get extra damage on the face. I'm gonna target Molon with this. I'm gonna do 11,000. Another 11,000 on the rest of the team. I mean, another same damage to the rest of the team. Get a nice despair prop on either drill. We're gonna try and kill Perna here. Nice kill on Perna. And we're gonna try to go for. Hmm. I don't wanna transform back just yet. I'm gonna go with this. We're gonna go for more attack by reduction on the Molong, but not getting it. Perna's going back up. I'm gonna stun Perna here. No stun. Attack by reduction. Nice. I'm gonna go for the Wild wow Blow on Perna. Hope to crit. No crit. We can't kill just yet. Abigail gets stunned. Perna gets clapped in the face. But we got another life, so we are okay. Come on, Perna, you gotta go and clap that Perna back. Boom, beautiful. We're gonna go for the stun on Elijah as well. 
Pern are so toxic, man. I want a Pern so much. All right. Now, Abigail. Come on, I want the armor break on everything. Oh, we got the armor break on Mo Long. Eight times is a lot, so I, I would say it's pretty consistent for a guild battle situation armor break where there are only three units. You can expect two out of three get armor break on, and that's that's pretty good. Gonna do this, try to kill this thing. No crit, but it's dead. <laughs> Stun? Come on, I want the armor break on though. I really want the armor break on that Mo Long so we can do the wild shot. Oh, damn it, I don't think I have armor break on for this thing. But look at wild shot. If there's one unit, it's pretty lit. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And if you armor break with the first hit, you tend to do a lot more damage after that. Random sniper gameplay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to guild battle with this bruiser team. I kind of like it. We're going to go in with armor break to start the fight. Beautiful despair proc from your girl Abigail. I love despair on this girl. We're going to go straight for the, 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 the white thing over there. <laughs> I don't know how to call it. I'm going to put soul protection here. Alright. No provoke. I'm going to reduce attack by the white thing. What is, what's his name again? But he's gonna die, I get attack for reduction on the rest of the enemy team. Awesome. She, she brings so much utility. Like, you can use her in so many different situations. That's why I'm I'm blown away by this unit. And I really want to have her. The attack reduction from default attack is really nice icing on the cake. Look at that. I just love it. <laughs> Strip into attack reduction is like a dream come true. It's like eager. Aegis stripped into attack by absorption. He's really, really good nowadays. And this girl, she's she's almost on that level. She don't get turned like how Aegis gets. But on a good despair set, she has two AOE. The second skill is a pseudo AOE, but eight hits. It's gonna be an AOE hit. And that makes despair so strong on her. She may not be as good as a solo damage dealer because I don't think... Having too much utility, her damage output will be anything too crazy. But we can we can give it a try. We can give it a try. Okay, let's strip that shield. We're gonna strip that. Do some nice damage. We're gonna pop the entire team attack bar. I'm gonna try and heal her up a little bit. Heal the team up as well. Come on, come on, stop. We're gonna do some damage on this guy. And this is gonna allow us to cleave the entire enemy team. Watch. Oh my god, did too much damage. <laughs> I want to keep the entire enemy team with the second skill. Almost happened right there. Almost happened. But with this, we should be able to kill. Alright, let's bring her in a bruiser setup. No more attack buff, you know, perfect setup. But a more bruiser setup like this as well. We got some immunity going on. But we are not too scared of that. I'm going to try and go for the attack power reduction on Laika. We strip, we poop, and we land a nice despair proc. Now I'm gonna follow up with a nice hit on Laika. And he's almost dead. He's almost, oh my god, that's scary, baby. That's scary. Uh-oh, we're gonna go for the armor break on the entire enemy team. We stun one unit, armor break the other two. Tell me that's not beautiful. <laughs> that is so sweet. Am I right? Oh my god, this Pern is going crazy. And my Abigail is also going crazy. Good, he's not focusing on the girl. Which means I can go for the stun on him and she's gonna land some more debuff on this thing. Attack for reduction. It's not when there's only one unit, the armor break become incredible. See, it will land. I don't care if you're a win unit. I have 8 chance to crit you. So you're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna get armor broken and you're gonna die. 1 immunity, 2 immunity. Perfect for us. At this rank, I don't expect full team immunity yet. But there can be. So now we're gonna strip. Imagine that was an Okia nose. I reset Varad. This is gonna strip Juan. No. <laughs> but this is gonna strip Juan. Yes. <laughs> and we get nice spare prop on your girl Shiner. Where well. I'm gonna put the bomb on Juan just to make sure she die. I don't have to worry about her too much. Get some free attack bar. Now we're gonna get clapped on by Helena. But if the monkey succeeded a strip on John, none of the enemy team should have moved yet. I'm actually gonna go for the bomb reset. Easy clap, boys. And we got this. 
To conclude, she is my favorite new unit from the patch because she is usable everywhere and that is crazy. For PvP purposes only, I recommend this spare wheel speed crit damage attack with high accuracy. Or speed crit damage HP, if you want to go bruiser route, you use her RTA the most. If you use her in PvE, I recommend Violent Revenge, Speed Critical Match Attack or Attack Critical Match Attack with good accuracy, like really, really important good accuracy. And you can use her across all dungeons. That's it for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoy. And congrats to those who summon Abigail because I'm really jealous of you. I really want her. She's so awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I'll see you on stream. Come to stream. Stream viewers have been reducing a little bit lately and I don't know why. But come to stream. I would love to talk, chat, do RTA against you. You know, all that kind of fun stuff. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.